It is Wednesday for United States History class, and so yesterday we remember we just started our um, little chapter on World War One. So Woodrow Wilson tries to get involved in in Mexico, and now he's getting involved in the Caribbean conflicts and tries to go police them down there. So they end up going to um, Haiti. That's what they get. Haiti. And they start making roads and trying to do all these things to make it better and better. And it's nice It's nice of us, but really the Haitians didn't want it. And then the Dominican Republic was having um, a civil war, so then they just had to get involved in that. And in the web of all this, Germany and Austria, Hungary, and Italy form the Triple Alliance. And then the trip, and that's where we are. So Germany, Austria, Hungary and Italy are all three teamed up together at this point. Russia decides, um, Russia it starts to fear Austria um, and its control, so they start to mobilize troops. Germany declares war on, on Russia, but then they decide, well, we really need to crush France first, and then they try to go through Belgium, and Belgium's like, nope, we're not letting you come through here. We're a country, not a road. And um, Britain doesn't really care for the the alliance that they've made with um, this treaty with Belgium. And so basically, um, all the streetlights in London start going off, and somebody's like, we're never going to see them go back on in our lifetime. So it was like a changing moment. They started noticing things in Europe starting to really start to change, and it really became really dark, literally. And starts to change and get worse and worse and worse and um, so at this point Belgium and Britain are kind of more teamed up and in great in Germany and Austria Hungary and Italy are teamed up but Italy's like I'm not joining the war quite yet like y'all can jump in but I'm gonna stay out for a little bit they decide not to and America decides that they're gonna be neutral to all because we're, we're kind of in foreign trade with all of them and so they decide that they're going to at least try to remain neutral, but that doesn't quite pan out that way. So we'll have to wait till tomorrow to see that. And something that you guys will start to see is even though when we think of propaganda, you really think of it during, majorly during the World War II era, but propaganda is in posters. Things about posters and journalism propaganda started during World War I. Um, really persuasive propaganda really started to make its way up in World War II, but a little bit of it started during World War I. You're going to see that a little bit in your um, chapter today. So, um, and then, yeah, so I'm going to send you guys a link to a song about Mary Poppins that might help you remember, and one about a slippery slope, because that's literally the name of the type, the little subtitle in here is the slippery, slippery slope of neutra neutrality, and that is a persuasive technique, actually, it's a propaganda technique, so I'm going to send you guys that, and you're going to do chapter 19, activity 1, so that's what you're doing today, from, you're going to read from page 421 to 422, um, you're going to listen to a song from Mary Poppins, and then you're going to um, do chapter 19, activity 1, and read a little bit about Slippery Slope. So you probably will have all together three pages to read and do an activity and listen to a song. You can listen to the song while you do your activity. Um, that'll be just fine. So we're going to go ahead and I'll see you tomorrow.